Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of writing problems from equations and inequalities. This is standard 6.9c in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 15 off the 2017 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have an inequality x divided by 16 is less than or equal to 6. So how can we find a situation that is best represented by this inequality? So we're going to take a look at a, b, c, and d. So Jamal is in each of these problems. And what we're wanting to do is we are wanting to write the inequality that, that, that matches and see if we can find one that's that same as x divided by 16 is less than or equal to 6. So this first one looks like it's going to be pretty easy to figure out because we have that word divided in there. So Jamal divided x pieces of paper among 16 students. Look at that. They give you that x among or by. So that among, that's going to give you that division right there. Remember when we're looking at a fraction, fraction is simply a division problem that has not been finished. So a lot of times when we're looking for division, we're simply going to use this fractional notation right here. So that is division right there. And each student received fewer than 6. Hmm. I see the 6. But take a look at this. Fewer than 6. So fewer, that's easy. That's less than. But if they're going to be fewer than 6, it means they cannot be 6. That's very, very close, but take a look. We want less than or equal to. We want them to be able to have 6 or less. And this says that Jamal divided x pieces among 16 and each had less or fewer than 6. They couldn't have 6. So this is not going to be very close. And I bet you that's probably, since it's A, probably the most chosen incorrect answer. Let's keep going. We'll find one that's what we need. Jamal placed x cards in 16 stacks. So x cards in 16 stacks. So we're going to do the same thing here. x over 16. And there were no more than 6 cards in each stack. So we've got the 6. So there were no more than. So we can have 6. So if it's no more, it's going to be less than. So it's going to be 6 or less. So it looks like B might be what we need here. Now it's using language is slightly different, but it says no more than 6. So let's make sure we understand that no more than means it can be 6. It just can't be more. And even though it says no more than, this no is a negative which means really what we're looking at is less than or equal to 6. So I'm thinking it's B. Let's double check with C and D. Jamal separated X shirts into 6 stacks. Well, I can tell you the problem right now. Look at that. Separated. That's going to be my division right there. But we're not dividing it into 16. Look, we're dividing it into 6. So we have the wrong uh, denominator in that fraction or the wrong div divisor if we're looking at a division problem, and each stack had at least 16 shirts, right? So now we've got our stacks over here, at least, so it's going to be equal to, because it can be 16, but at least means it's going to be greater than or equal to. So we've got the wrong inequality, we've got greater than or equal to rather than less than or equal to, and then we've got the 6 and the 16 flipped. So that is a, that's a hard note. And then finally, Jamal shared 16 markers with X classmates. Uh, see, now we're flipping this. We've got 16 as our numerator. That's how many we're starting with. We're dividing it among, we don't know how many classmates, X classmates. So look, we flipped that there. And each classmate had fewer than 6. So we're going to have less than 6. So we have the less than, but we don't have the equal to. It doesn't say we can have 6. And then obviously we flipped the 16 and the x, those are in the wrong position, so that is incorrect, and our answer is going to be b.